Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we finally have the official stock photos of the new Gen 3 uh, Monster High dolls of the main 5 ghouls, Twirlai, Gulia, and Deuce. Since they are all retail exclusives, we don't have their stock photos yet, but this is a good start. We also have some more tea to talk about, so stay tuned for that and let's get into it. Credits go to youloveit.com for providing us with these pictures and information that I'm going to read out in this video so the title of the article says new monster high 2022 dolls and place it gen 3 collection 2022 will be the year of the triumphant return of the monster high brand and new monster high dolls releases in this post we will try to collect and summarize information about all 2022 monster high new to generation 3 doll releases find out more about the new monster high designs new dolls have different heights frankie is the tallest claudine average height and dracula is the shortest and then we get into our first school miss dracula oh, yeah and it says also there at the bottom new monster high 2022 22 core six dolls and their monster high friends releases but who is a six ghoul like we only have uh dracula frankie cleo claudine and laguna here and those are five ghouls not six so who is a six ghoul i don't know maybe it's a titan it, maybe that's a typo but uh, anyways going back to dracula school is back in session and the monster high ghouls are showing up in screamtastic style dracula doll struts down the monster high hallways in a fantastic fashion featuring her print shorts and a vampy corset blouse with sheer sleeves her freaky fabulous vampire inspired look is complete with sheer ruffled stockings pink platform shoots shoes and a headband and sunglasses with baddie details take dracula dolls look to the next level with a scary chic cape and accessories and inspire spooktacular storytelling with her creepy cute pet bat count fabulous oh my god so obviously we started off with the best that was kind of unfair to the uh, to some of the other ghouls here in this generation three lineup but we have dracula here first up and she is stunning i feel like overall the 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 overall mood and like feelings for this doll is very positive a lot i think most people just really enjoy this doll i mean she is so so scary cute i mean her outfit the the black and pink um hair the the side glancing i feel like that side glance does numbers on her i feel like i i wish more of the ghouls had the side glance detail uh maybe cleo or something i i don't know why only claudia and dracula have it because it really does give them more personality and it makes them look so much better um and now i want it for all the characters <laughs> but dracula's outfit is stunning i feel like it's one of the best it's just so scary cute like i mentioned and it also it's just so pink but also black the black shorts the pink um the floofy blouse and then that like corsetti top over the blouse like are you kidding me it's so cute um her stockings the platform heels uh i just i feel like she is a 10 out of 10 for sure and again no wonder she is most people's favorite and at least if you're iffy about this whole reboot um then at least get this dracula doll to start off because i i swear she will change your mind so we have frankie stein frankie stein doll struts down the monster high hallways in an electrifying fashion featuring a plaid skirt lining bolt printed blouse and stitch detailed vest their freaky fabulous look is complete with chunky platform sneakers creeperific accessories and a prosthetic leg and stitch details celebrating their unique style take Fran frankie stein dolls look to the next level with a voltageous varsity jacket and electrifying accessories and inspire spectacular storytelling with their creepy creepy cute pet dog Watson. so with frankie stein i think uh, they are also a very um close contender or i feel like for most people frankie's actually their favorite and and then dracula i feel like dracula and frankie are definitely two of the strongest definitely um but uh, after seeing the stock photos with um frankie's original face up or like i guess the uh the face up uh, overall for most of these, you will notice, uh, at least for Jackie Laura, she has bigger eyes in these stock photos. And it really makes makes me wish that she had bigger eyes. 
um, in the actual doll because it looks so cute. Um, but I, you know, I guess it, it, she looks also really cute with uh, the eyes she does have. And then with Frankie, the face up, it looks so pretty. It, it reminds me really of the Frankie Stein face up we could have gotten for Hot Couture, you know, and then the one we did get was just so mm, underwhelming, you know what I mean? Um, it's just so drastic of a change, the details, and I feel like it's kind of same here, but uh, Frankie's face up in the actual doll it still looks very good. Um, I think the fashions look splendid. They are really cute. The skirt, love it. The plaid, Watsy is growing on me, and um, I feel like Frankie's definitely like a winner. For sure. Next, Laguna Blue doll struts down the Monster High hallways in a fantastic fashion featuring a hot pink hoodie with mesh sleeves and a trendy tie-dye bike shorts romper. Her gorgeous look is complete with a sea monster inspired waist bag, seashell backpack, color block platform sandals, and freaky fabulous fin details inspired by her unique skeritage. Switch up Laguna Blue doll's look with a metallic fish scale detailed swimsuit and inspire spooktacular storytelling with fearsome accessories and her creepy cute pet fish Neptuna. So I think it's no surprise that you know Laguna has had the most controversy, the most backlash so far for this reboot um, and I feel like you know at first obviously I think it's okay to be a little shocked by her appearance because she just looks that different but after a while i actually get i got used to her look i think she looks great i mean you know obviously the artwork kind of doesn't look the same um to the actual what to what the doll is actually wearing but that's actually for most of these characters i feel like for cleo as well the outfits vary a little bit so i feel like that's normal but laguna her hoodie should have had some yellow but here it's only pink i feel like that actually looks better and then uh she should have had some fishnet uh, underneath her shorts. And I actually don't mind that she doesn't have that here. I feel like she actually looks really cute. Uh, so overall, I think, you know, Laguna has grown on me a lot. And I actually really like her now. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, she has, yeah, there's a lot of things you gotta get used to. Like the scales on her forehead, the, the, the whole design, the skin color, you know, but i'm surprisingly like i'm okay with her like i really i really i think like face up wise she has like one of the best she's just so cute and her ponytail is so cute even though her, the hair type i've heard isn't like the best it's like claudine's hair type um and i love the legs even though apparently they chip off very easily so be careful but hopefully it was just a defect uh with the early batch of laguna dolls so yeah, but anyways, I, I feel like she's very strong on my list. Next, we have Claudine Wolf. It reads, Claudine Wolf doll struts down the Monster High hallways in a classum fashion featuring an animal print jumper and long sleeve top with crescent moon print. Her freaky fabulous werewolf inspired look is complete with creeperific sneakers, a black purse and glam, golden glasses and jewelry. Take Claudine Wolf doll's look to the next level with a fierce faux fur vest and scary chic accessories and inspire spooktacular storytelling with her creepy cute pet cat, Crescent. Oh my god, say that like 10 times. <laughs> you know, she's obviously had the biggest downfall, I guess, or just like, I guess, disappointment uh, because uh, originally on the pictures for the, for the coffin being placed that we, we every, she looked great. The face up, everything looked great. And then when the actual doll got, you know, sold on eBay and found, um, you know, it kind of went downhill. Uh, the face up was different, the hair and the shirt uh, that could be fixed now, arguably, perhaps with the official batch. It's going to get released on October 1st, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see if that's true. Um, but yeah, I feel like Claudine's outfit is not the problem. It's actually very cute. Um, the the problem I think stems stems from the hair type and the face up. Um, so the on the actual Claudine doll, her eyes are just a little too big. If they were a little bit, you know, narrower, just like we see here on the stock photos, it would be fine. She will look great, even just like this. I don't know why it plays such a big role, honestly, because like I mentioned, Draculaura's eyes in the stock photos look bigger than they are in real life. And I wish they would have been a little bit bigger. But then with Claudine, they are too big. And I wish they would have been a little more narrow. So it's kind of funny, isn't it? Um, 
And then also the freckles. Some people don't like the freckles. Some people really don't like the snout, the the painted on nose that they gave her, right? Because she's a wolf. I get. I don't know why they actually did that, because the original Claudine and Torrelai actually don't have the painted on nose.、Um, but I guess now because they want to make her more colorful, more you know, fun. They painted on her nose again. I do wonder why, because she she looks great without it as well. So that's also、um, a talking point.、Um, and then yeah, so I feel like those are the main points, like the the, the face up and then the hair. <laughs> those are two hills you gotta battle yourself over. And then she looks great. She's a great doll itself. It's just you know, there's a little bit of thing. There's some stuff that you know could have been could have been done. Be、better execute it, I guess. Crescent is really cute, though. But moving on, we have Cleo the Nile. Cleo the Nile doll struts down the Monster High hallways in a fashion inspired by her royal scaritage, featuring a royal blue dress with mummy wrap inspired sleeves and a gorgeous chain belt. Her scary chic look is complete with knee high boots, a pyramid shaped scarab studded backpack, and glam golden accessories. Take Cleo the Nile's doll's look to the next level with a freaky fabulous fringe jacket and accessories, and inspire spooktacular storytelling with her creepy cute pet puppy. Tut. Now with Cleo, she actually looks pretty similar. The biggest change is mainly like her hair color and hairstyle.、Um, she now has、uh, instead of black hair with golden tinsel, she now has dark blue hair with lighter blue strands and gold golden tinsel. And now she also has instead of bangs, she has you know the side swept hairstyle. I feel like it actually looks pretty. Cute,、uh, you know, you get used to very quickly. Then,、um, then her face up is also very pretty, but it's also interesting that for her eyes, they actually kind of look glossed over. Also, more noticeably in、uh, the real life pictures we've seen so far for Cleo, the eyes look glossed over and more blue. So that's the interesting detail that they chose to go with, I guess.、Um, and her boots, I do like the boots. I, I still the red tip is still kind of like throwing me off, but、uh, I I understand it kind of like pulls the look together with the red lips. Um, but at the same time, even though I do like the dress and the belt and the necklace and the fringe jacket, definitely will keep, I would have kept that. But I, I do wish that they would have、uh, given her a outfit that looks more like her artwork. You know, with the pants, the sandal wedges. I feel like that would have been so cute. But、uh, this is also a cute outfit, and like I mentioned, the fringe jacket is actually really cute, and I would not change that. That looks very good on her. We also have the listings for Deuce Gorgon. He's an Amazon exclusive doll. We have Goy Alps. She's a Target exclusive doll, and Torlai Stripe. She's a Walmart exclusive doll.、Uh, all these dolls are going to release on October first. Uh, they're gonna be priced at twenty four ninety nine for the individual ones, and then for the two pack of Frankie and Deuce, it's gonna retail at fifty bucks probably, or maybe like forty something, but fifty maybe I guess.、Uh, we also have the same stock photos and listings we've already talked about in a previous video for the Creepover、uh, party dolls and the budget dolls. Check out that video、uh, linked above if you haven't already for in depth opinions on those dolls. To create your own fantastic. Look with the Dracula organizer playset. A little-known secret is that vampires use coffins for more than just sleeping. They also store beauty essentials inside, and the Dracula organizer is no exception. This makeup box comes with a compact mirror, comb, face sample stickers, and two life-size hair clips. Plus, Dracula doll will never have another ba bad scare day again with her bat wing headband. Girls can get girls can get creative and style them themselves just like Dracula. By using all the included accessories, the doll fits inside the Dracula organizer as well, making it perfect for on-the-go play. The price is forty-two ninety-nine. Now, for this playset, it's actually really cute that the doll actually fits inside the little、uh, compartment. Uh, if you can even see a little pillow molded into the pink section with the little quilting, it's really cute. The doll itself looks really cute. She has articulation, a completely unique look here,、um, and the accessories are kind of like you know, they they're a little bit unnecessary. Just the stickers, the face stamper, or whatever. The little back clips are really cute, but it could have been a little bit better with the accessories. I feel like you know, you you are paying like. A lot more for this, and you're just basically getting like a uh, plastic uh, little box that you can put Dracula in.、Um, so that I feel like 
a little bit more could have been added here but overall still a really cute idea welcome to the coffin bean cafe where the treats are dreadfully delightful it's the hottest haunted spot in town for monster high students to come after school whether they want to hit the biotology books chit chat while playing with monster pets or enjoy scare tastically scrumptious snacks this place that accommodates five monster high dolls sold separately making it the go-to place for the ghouls to come together and chill it also includes three play areas and over 20 individual pieces offering endless opportunities for storytelling and world building priced at $42.99 as well. I've already talked about the coffin being placed there when it first got leaked in a older video that will be linked above if you want to check out my full in-depth first reaction first impression uh, thoughts on this place but overall it's a nice place it is funny though that the pricing here is the same for both the coffin bean and the organizer place with draculaura um and the organizer place that comes with an exclusive doll but technically comes with less accessories but this coffin bean place that comes with more accessories but doesn't come with any dolls so a uh, funny coincidence there um and uh, maybe the price is also just not it's gonna change so who knows but uh yeah it's a nice little place that if i collected places if i had the space i would definitely get it but um i don't so moving on lastly we also have other listings for play sets we have the beauty salon play set with laguna blue doll the monster high doll and beauty play set inspires spooktastic styling for both the doll and kids with hair chalk and 20 plus hair accessories that fit into the included shell shaped case okay the doll wears a fantastic lounge wear look and has a face mask and eye mask for a spa day play priced at 37 bucks and then we also have the monster high bedroom play set uh the same price and then the monster high car play set at 35 bucks so yeah um the actual listing for the laguna place that looks very interesting at the description of the outfit it seems very um very chic like it's just like i guess pajama set i don't know i'm very interested to see what she's gonna look like also the shell shaped uh case i cannot wait to see that so that was all the news we have for today quite a lot if you ask me and we still haven't even seen all the stock photos yet of all the dolls you know do school yet twirly in a play set so there's still a lot coming this is only the first uh the first wave i guess of the new releases for this reboot so very exciting stuff and if i had to rank the dolls um then i would probably rank them as as it goes uh so first Draculaura, then Laguna, then Cleo, then Frankie, then Claudine. <laughs> so Draculaura and Laguna are my top top faves. Uh, I know, surprising. I don't know. I just I really love Laguna and and Draculaura obviously duh, and then Cleo over Frankie. I know. I just I kind of like the boots um and the the jacket i i love the, the fringe jacket more than i like uh frankie's varsity jacket so you know but still very cute and then my least favorite is claudine i know but um she's still a pretty doll it's just you know i just i don't know something's off once you know? again thanks to youloveit.com but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more monster high doll and news movie news animated show news a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time Time, stay PG. Kisses.